Eye on the Three premieres October 22nd, and Netflix has challenged Hacksmith Industries to bring Maya's Eagle Claw to life. So I think we're going to have to experiment with a few new manufacturing techniques. maca -whittle. It's fun to say. maca whittle maca whittle maca whittle What do you say? maca Okay, for those of you who don't know, a maca is a weapon. Basically, it's a wooden club embedded with obsidian blades around the perimeter. The name is derived from the Nahuatl language and means handwood. It was actually a common close combat weapon in Mesoamerica. And it's also the inspiration for Maya's Eagle Claw. I am Princess Maya, Tekka Eagle Warrior. Maya and the Three is a Netflix anime event premiering on October 22nd. Maya, a warrior princess, is celebrating her 15th birthday. But when the underworld gods appear and announce she must pay for her family's misdeeds, everything changes. She embarks on a quest to fulfill a prophecy which says that three warriors will appear to help her defeat these gods and save humanity itself from destruction. And that, that's a lot to put on a 15 year old. And Netflix has put it on us to build a replica of Maya's Eagle Claw. But I'm just one person, the Hacksmith. To complete this task, just like Maya, I'll need the help of three warriors. All right team, we've got a really exciting Make It Real project for this week. We actually got hired by Netflix to recreate the Maya's Eagle Claw from Maya and the Three. Now, the neat thing is they actually sent us the full 3D model, which means we've got no excuses to make this as accurate as possible and functional. You might be noticing it's made of like wood and rock and glass, whereas most of our stuff is made of metal. So I think we're gonna have to experiment with a few new manufacturing techniques. With that in mind, Rhiannon, I want you to be our art director. It's your responsibility to make sure we get the aesthetics of this club just right. And to start, I think we're gonna need the vector images of these faceplates so we can really do the design justice. Now, there is some metal work, so don't worry, I'll handle that part. Chelsea. We need the most powerful LEDs you can find so these things glow like miniature suns. Can you handle that? Yep. Awesome. Finally, Ben, since you're a CNC expert, you're in charge of actually machining the wood and the polycarbonate face plates to make them look just like they do in the show. Sound good? Let's make it real. We're here at A&M Wood Specialty and hopefully they have what we're looking for. A&M Wood Specialty is one of the broadest inventories of wood in North America, providing materials for hobbyists, contractors, wood turners, and even instrument makers. Look, there's a finger. It's like a... Yeah. I think this Chechen wood will fit the aesthetic of our design perfectly. To ensure our aesthetic accuracy of the Eagle Claw, I have been tasked with creating vector files of our side detailing right here. And to do this, I'm gonna be using my handy dandy iPad and I've got one of these digital artist gloves with the two fingers, so you know that I'm a professional. I brought the reference images that Ben gave me into my Procreate app and I'm just going to lower their opacity to about 50%, then going in with a new layer and we're just gonna do a quick little outline of what we're working with and then we'll go in with a thicker pencil afterwards. The reason I'm using a vector image instead of a raster image, which would be like your JPEG, your PNGs, um, is because those ones are comprised of pixels and they lose quality when they're scaled up. This way I'm able to give Ben something that he can reshape and size however he needs without losing any of the quality. Et voila! Sent those vector files off to Ben, which means I'm ready to move on to my next task, which is going to be locating a gemstone that'll act as our eagle's eye for our eagle's claw. Woodworking isn't something that you see on our channel all too often. And that's too bad. Let's change that. We've picked up this amazing piece of Chechen wood to use for the faceplates of the eagle claw. Since the shape of the panels is kind of irregular, I printed out a one-to-one -one paper template that all I need to do is tape it onto the piece and we're good to cut.
We have the pieces cut to size, but now we need to cut out the details here and here. Don't get me wrong, Tormok could handle this, but it's not quite ideal for wood. I got the perfect tool in mind. Let's go to my house. Welcome to my parent shop. This is our CNC router table. It should be perfect for this application. It has a nice big bed for all the fixturing and a high speed spindle so it'll chew right through the wood. This part is looking great. I'll see you back at the shop now. Bye, get out of my house. Now, the metal framework of the Eagle Claw is gonna hold the whole thing together. And as you know, I like to really let loose in my test videos, which means this thing's gonna take a beating. So to make sure it can take a beating, we're gonna make it out of extra thick steel. We're gonna use three quarter inch mild steel for the ribs and three sixteenth solid steel plate for the frame. I think that'll do the trick. Now, before we start welding, we're gonna need a handle. So I'm gonna cut this down to length. Rihanna did an amazing job with these vectors. These faceplates are gonna look awesome. I've decided to use polycarbonate for the glowing parts of the Eagle Claw. Polycarbonate is damn near indestructible, it's clear, and it's easy to machine. Let's get into SolidWorks. So the first thing I need to do is import the vectors that Rihanna gave me into SolidWorks. I'm just gonna insert a DXF onto a face. And as you can see, it's way too big. So let's fix that. I'm happy with how this looks, let's extrude it. This looks super fun to machine, let's get started. We are going to use our Tormach 1100MX to machine up the details on the polycarbonate. I've got five more of these to finish. Why don't you check on James and see what he's doing? I've come to Stonebridge Imports in Kitchener to have a look around to find the next piece of material for our project. The Eagle Claw has spikes radiating around the club. Now, traditionally, the Mockwell Whittle uses a material called obsidian, something that you don't just find laying about. Huh, it's obsidian.
Ben did a really good job with these face lights. Now, I need to make them glow. I'm gonna use some really bright LEDs, some soldering, and my brain. Step one is to measure out the LED strips. Now I'm gonna do some soldering. All right, just gonna do a little test fit here. Perfect. These LEDs have an adhesive backing so they can stick right onto the frame. Okay, now I just need to pop this faceplate in and turn it on. After two weeks of building, all the individual components are complete. It was an awesome demonstration of the power of teamwork. Now, all that's left is to put it together. If it is to be, it's up to me. That was freaking awesome. I haven't had this much fun smashing stuff in a long time. It's really amazing what the team's managed to accomplish. This has got to be one of our most accurate make it reels yet. Join Maya and the Three on a quest for the Eagle Claw. Maya and the Three, October 22nd, only on Netflix.